Yeah. yeah thanks I for love coming. this movie. Thanks, man. Thank you. You know, a movie that that actually Ed Helms and Jason Segel make me cry. Go figure. Yeah. Boom. Your yeah. words yes. to the to the to the ether. Can you just but, say that to the yeah, camera? Yeah, I absolutely will. No. I, I I have to tell you that I I was actually really crying a lot at the end. It was so touching and Thank so you. moving. Thank you. And you know, Jason Segel and Ed Helms, you've popped their dramatic cherries. Oh, I'll We're take just, it. That's what we do. We're popping cherries. Yep. We're popping cinema. We just wanted to do you, funny guy. Get over here. That's you right. want to do something dramatic? The problem is, is that you know we're so big, and Jason and Ed, they really needed a boost in their yeah, careers because they they they're did. not busy and they're not doing any good work and they're not funny and they're not riveting and charismatic. Yeah. So what we want to do is say, hey guys, come over here. We're gonna pop your dramatic cherry. We're yeah. gonna give you some. We're gonna give you some cred. And yeah. who could refuse an offer like that? Yeah, exactly. exactly. But seriously, when you, I understand that you guys ha didn't have them in mind when you wrote you wrote this, mm -hmm. and you know where where did it come to you that you wanted these two guys because they did really work so well. Well, when when we you know thought about casting the role of Jeff, it, it needed to start there for us, and we felt like we needed someone who could embody the essence of this film, which Jay and I describe as uh, goofy earnestness. You know. It's an existential uh, dramatic comedy, and, and, and it's a, a very specific tone, you know? Someone that we could have fun with, that we could laugh at going through these crazy antics of a stoner who believes that his life has a grand destiny, but at the same time could play it with that level of humility um, and, and someone that we might actually root for, and I guess in the way we feel like, Jeff's kind of a hero on some level, you know? He's, yeah. He's a stoner who's waiting around in his mom's basement, but he's also the guy who has enough integrity and enough belief that the universe has something grand in store for him that he'll wait for it. Yeah, and you guys actually went home and stayed b back with your parents to shoot this movie. So, we did. oh, how was that? Meta. <laughs> it was very, very, very meta. meta. We, were, we were making a movie about family and about brothers who are who are jammed inside of a Porsche together. <laughs> um, for part of the movie, we were living together. But I mean, honestly, you know, we, Mark and I. I mean, obviously, when you're making a movie, you're just working your butt off. Yeah. And the way that we feel about making movies and being close and being brothers, because obviously we have a, a, you know a, a marriage between ourselves. Yeah is, um, you know, making movies is kind of hard. Um, really hard, actually. It's really hard. And, <laughs> and when you make a film, it's like, you, it's like you, 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 you take Frankenstein, you like, you, you like zap him alive, and then he gets up and then he threatens to just kill you and everyone around you and destroy everything. And what you're really trying to do is you're trying to get Frankenstein safely back into the ground. You're trying to take him around, show him the few people, make sure nothing terrible happens and get him back in the ground. And you know, all of the, the little sibling uh, sort of like rivalry or quibbling or anything that would come up, you know, would only take, a, would only make it more likely that you're gonna get killed by this <laughs> Frankenstein movie that you've made. So in a weird way- We put that stuff away. Yeah, we So put that it we can away. beat Frankenstein yeah, together. You got to, you got to. And you do a great job at it. Who were the directors that influenced the two of you or were the, that gave you the sign that you wanted to work, do what you're doing now? You know, we, we were HBO kids and we grew up watching these kind of these adult dramas as young kids for whatever reason. We were watching Kramer versus Kramer and Sophie's Choice when we were, you know, six years old. I don't know why, but we were. Um, but in the end, I think the greatest influence we've had are, are documentaries um, and these fantastic real-life figures, these lovable losers that you at once laugh at and at the same time root for. You know, I think a good example of that is Mark Borchardt from American Movie yeah. or someone like that or, or, you know, Werner Herzog in Burden of Dreams. These people who take on these, her, you know, Herculean tasks and we're just like, oh my God, this idiot is never, wait a minute. Maybe he's not an idiot. Mm -hmm. And those are the protagonists that we love, and we try to tell those stories in narrative film. So what are you bringing to TIFF this year, guys? Come on. we got to go make some... Magic. Yeah, <laughs> just a little just bit of magic. A little bit of magic. We might we're we're going to have some children this year, too. We've made five movies in six years, so so this year we're going to do some different Maybe stuff. Maybe we'll bring our kids to Toronto, and we'll actually go see other movies. Oh, that doesn't happen when you bring a movie well, to a festival, Wait, that also doesn't happen when you bring children to a festival. <laughs> That's true. Let's just you and me go. You Let's plan on going, and then we know we won't go, but we'll just plan on that it way because we can be happy we'll about feel good about it. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. We'd yeah. love to have you back. Congratulations. Thanks. This is such a great film. Thank, thank you so much. Keep up the great work. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank Good you. talking to you guys again. Yeah, thank thanks you. for coming. Take Appreciate care. It. Thanks Bye -bye. for the next one.